I'll take my revenge even if I have to sell my soul. I don't want to cause you any more trouble. We'll see if this kid can fly. I shall take your power for the Chiyo. What's up, everyone? Andrew Reiner here. This is Shenmue 2, episode 20. Oh We're getting there. That's a lot of episodes. It's Kyle Hillard. Hey. We're getting there. Yeah. Okay. It's been fun. It's been cool. Yeah. A little weird. A little strange. Finding keys in rooms. A little inconsistent. <laughs> Pretty inconsistent. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think the first one... I don't know. I really latched onto that Excuse one a little me. more. I think that narrative was a little cleaner. Yeah, a little more straightforward, maybe. A little bit more action packed. Let's see. I'm for the entrance to the yellow you gonna take me, Mr. Man? Over there. Oh, am I there really close? Be a sign. Could you look for that? <laughs> I understand. <laughs> this guy. Thank you very much. I think it's like the first occasion where someone was not like, "Yeah, yeah, I'll take you over there," and they were like, "There's a sign right there, you idiot." <laughs> Like, I'm not going to take you to the it's yellow right building. Right there. <laughs> right, let's see. Just run in there. Okay, so the yellow head building. All right, so he pointed in this direction. He said there was a sign. Let me see. You see any signs anywhere? Is this it? Okay, yellow head building. All right. Oh, this seems like they're not going to let me in. Let's see. Oh, they got sticks. You don't belong here. Get lost. <laughs> Those are nicely sanded. <laughs> That's really smooth to the touch. Okay, let's see. So I gotta find another way in. So I gotta be a little sneaky Pete. Yeah. Uh, as you're doing that, I'm gonna read some comments. Yeah. Scott Grieve says, No offense, guys. I've enjoyed the series thus far, but I feel as each episode passes, you're growing to be less invested in the game as a whole. Uh, yeah, I would yeah. say that... I think that goes back Reasonable. to my earlier comment. It's not as engaging as the first one, in my opinion. I... I don't know. The the city navigation, all the pieces. I don't know. It just it just doesn't it feels as stretched in a way. I don't yeah. know. I mean, I guess we could pretend that Yeah. Oh <laughs> man! I'm gonna get Look this at building. that shrine thing, fountain, yeah. What is this thing actually? Oh, it's man. kinda interesting. Yeah, it's like Indiana Jones Wait, uh, relic. Is that like the keys that we had? A little snake. Oh thing? yeah. I don't know. Um all right, let's see. So I gotta sneak into the yellow building. I feel like I, I I just went around the corner. What are you? Are you yellow building too? Let's see. Yellowhead building. Yeah, but there's stickmen. Stickmen. Uh, then he says the series relies on you to really understand the backstory, the development of main supporting characters, and what their motives are. But I hear you constant questions about who is this person, what's that, why am I doing this. Do you know who you're watching right now? This is <laughs> Kyle Hill Hilliard and Andrew Reiner. We barely can find our way to work every day. <laughs> Without, yeah, I got to turn on GPS every morning. It's, uh, yeah, we are kind of wrecks of humanity. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say wrecks of human beings, so I, I like yeah. that. Oh, I found the fighting place right here. Uh, commentary enthusiasm is going to feel a little forced in opinion. Uh, I disagree with that. Maybe enthusiasm, because it's not as hey, cool. Buddy. Um, How about some arm wrestling if you have the time? I don't want to arm wrestle. Arm wrestling. So. You could take right, that guy. You got the body for it. You can make lots of money. The guys lined up behind you are your opponent. His mom clearly didn't she dress him. <laughs> he dressed himself in the dark. Like three completely different colors. So I'm still looking for a secret entrance to the Yellowhead building. I really thought I was onto something because this was like a uh, a back alley as I was circling the building. I don't really want to arm wrestle, I don't think. Uh, and then Scott says, uh, he says, I can think of how differently your thoughts on the series may have been if you were to play it on a regular basis. I don't think it'd be too much different. I don't think, I mean, we would be generally confused anyways, I would imagine. Yeah. Um, uh, maybe. maybe a little bit more connection, yeah. but, uh, I just, yeah, I just don't think it's that interesting compared to the first one. So we are giving you our actual take on what we think. So let's take that for what it's worth. It's worth a lot. It's worth the most. Is this still the yellow head? Okay. 
But he's looking forward to hear what we think of the game once it's completed. Yeah, it definitely. I I, I have a lot of respect for this game, <laughs> uh, which sounds dismissive, I think. But uh, yeah, playing it now, it it's 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 kind of tough. What it's like it, they went bigger and it got a little out of hand, like out of their control. Like yeah. It's just kind of all over the place. Like it's that thing where you like go into a building and you can go to every floor and every room. It's like, oh, that's cool. But I don't think the narrative or game play is benefiting from that necessarily. Other than it just being there's more, you know? Yeah. A lot of people saying, yeah, we didn't seem interested last, last episode. We're not going to fake interest in freaking... <laughs> Shenmue 2. Okay? Like, let's just put that on the table. Like, we're giving you our exact thoughts of what we're seeing. If that's the narrative you want to run with, we're right there with you. Yes, we, we're not as engaged. Let's see. I'm into it now, though. I'm like, I want to get into this building. Oh, too bad you can't climb that. I know. It's always frustrating in games when this <laughs> that happens. That is a horrible blockage. Okay, so I went all the way Just, around. If you, if artists take that much time to say, okay, you can't go this way, get rid of that staircase. <laughs> well, unless, that's the easy solution. Does it open up later or something? I don't know. But still, like, do something else there. Okay, let's figure this out. So I can't go up the stairs. There's probably a connecting building, a Minneapolis style skyway, right? Between the buildings. Is that what I'm looking for? Yeah. I don't know. You don't know. Okay. Uh, all right. It might be time. I mean, I can look up a guide. It might be time to do that. I don't, okay, so I'm, totally, at, I'm totally for checking in on a guide with this game. Man, mossy walls. We're at the Yellowhead building, right? We're trying to sneak into the Yellowhead building. There's, there's dudes with sticks in front of every entrance, as near as I can tell, unless I missed an entrance as I was circling the building. Um... But that's what we're trying to do. Let's see. see. Uh, guards block the two main entries into the Yellowhead building. Find another way in. So you want to go down, says. it says. Oh, down. Interesting. Okay. So there's a... Oh. Is okay, so it, come wait, morning... Is this it right here? Oh. It says uh, you'll merge in a creepy locale that reminds me a bit of the sewer area from the original Resident Evil. <laughs> this is the walkthrough you're looking at? Find the crank. Old government official site, office office site. Excuse me. See, this doesn't. This seems like I'm already off off track again. But that's interesting. I was looking up. It didn't occur to me to look go down. But I can do that. I can look down. I'm capable of such things. Uh, Kenneth Foreman says, "Enjoying the super replay. Keep it up, guys. People are just salty that it's been so long between episodes. You'll win." everyone over as soon as you continue progressing in the game. <laughs> I think that's, that's probably not 100% th true, but it has been a long time between episodes. I think it is absolutely fair to be critical of us <laughs> for taking a long time between episodes, but man, we got, there's, you know. Hey, Sonic's done now. Sonic's done, that's true. But that's no excuse, because we do yeah. these at a different time than Sonic. Yeah, not, not making excuses, just saying I think that that's a valid criticism <laughs> to levy against us. Okay, so the nice thing about the Yellowhead building is it's got yellow stuff all over it, so that's helpful. Uh, God, there's a lot. This place needs some upkeep. That's the fighting place, I think. Let's see. You found any other clues, Joiner? Well, you mean clues as in read the walkthrough? Yeah, clues as in just straight up solutions. So okay, you were down in the were. sewer thing, right? I was near like government office, old government office site. Um, but there, you know what? There was another way to go, like to the right. I went to the left. Let me try that. Uh, Otherwise, I'll make the loop again around the Yellowhead building. Man, are we getting near the end? No, no, never. This thing will never end. I hope we're getting near the end. Yeah. So okay. Uh, so there's man, a way, there's a way to go down there. The Do Thunder it. House. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's creepy. This does. Uh, do I? I feel like I'm in a Resident Evil game. We're gonna come in underneath, not back door. We're going underneath. We did the back door numerous times. Remember when we fell off scaffolding? <laughs> nope, uh, I did that perfectly. I don't think we ever fell off. All right, so this is another. This is a dead end. 
There's nothing. What is, is going on down here? I don't know. What are you? There's like a jukebox. <laughs> what is that? Excuse me. Huh? Yeah. What is I'm this? I'm looking for the entrance to the Yellowhead building. I have no idea. Maybe you could ask someplace else. All right. I see. Yeah, I just want to know what you guys were talking about. You were super into it. I guess I could uh, okay. ask around, too. So, let me read this. Let's hear it. I gave you some shady information. Oh. Come morning, leave Ren's hideout and head into the Thousand White Quarter. That's where I am. Run toward the back near the Ghost Hall building and the street fight with the Acrobat Masters, where they are. Okay. Turn left into the Thousand White building, then take a look at the map you received from the scout. You'll need to get to B2. The elevator on the right is out of order, so instead of run forward past the shops and use the stairwell to the right. Make your way up to the third floor where you'll be able to find a working elevator right around the corner. Ride down to B1. From there, run straight run straight down the hall and you'll soon come to a staircase. Descend to B2. Is this... That is that like... That really complicated. Is there no it's other... It's like Da Vinci Code. Are there clues for that? Like, do, do, do I talk to people who kind of direct me along I'm that guessing path? so. That's kind of how the series has been. Okay, so here's... Okay. So there's the there's the fighting. Yep. And they said to go into the Ghost Hall building? Near the Ghost Hall building. Near Turn left the Ghost Hall building. Into the Thousand White building. Into the Thousand White building? Let's see. Okay. Yeah, what is I'm, their idea of left? Well, that's, I mean, I can go down that hallway, this here maybe, but this doesn't look like it leads to a, let's see. And there's and a look scout. at your map, a map you received from the scout. I mean, maybe I'm in the wrong spot. We're trying to infiltrate maybe. this place, right? Yeah. Because that's the next section is infiltration. Okay, yeah. See, this seems like just like a whole nother wow. area. Like this isn't, okay, That so that was, Whoa. this is the wrong, this has to be the wrong way already. Right? There's there's nowhere to go. I can go get oh, in a wait. fight. They're fighting. Yeah, there's all kinds of fighting, though. Is this Unless the fighting? There's... I mean, he would talk about, like, a big phallic tower and fighting. Yeah, see, I don't... I can't go over there. That guy looks scary. I don't want to fight him. Look up at that tower. Wait, this one? Wait, which tower? That one. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. Look, sometimes you just see what you want to see. Okay. All right, so I found the gut there. So he said near the ghost hall building is what was written in that particular walkthrough, correct? Right. Maybe we're not where we need to be in this walkthrough yet. Maybe. Okay, so one thing I'm going to try. One thing I didn't do is I didn't try, like, talking to all the stick people for what, you know, that's what they're named, I think. Because there were, like, three entrances, and I only talked to one. Okay. Wait. We might have been in the wrong spot. Let's see. In the walkthrough. You think so? Maybe. So here's another. Don't let anyone through. Just get out of here. <laughs> Not here. I'll try a different entrance. Okay. And there should be a. Th there's a third one as well. I could totally fight those guys. Right? I mean. Yeah. I don't know. They should just let me fight them. They should let me give it a try. I mean, I know I'm not particularly good at Shenmu combat, but. Oh. Is that right? No. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, who are you? The blue, the blue dragon. That guy looks cool. That's the blue dragon area. Talk to him quick. The blue dragon garden. You um, do seem very cool. This is no place for someone like you. Uh, only cool people. Before you get hurt. Okay, bud. You're even. After talking to you, I think you're even cooler than <laughs> just looking at you from afar. I trust him. He seems like a trustworthy dude. I hope he's in Shenmue Three. <laughs> All right. Let's see. So that's that's the fighting area. Almost wrapped around here. 
We got this, man. Yeah, yeah, probably. It's only two o'clock. We're in good shape. Oh boy. Yeah, I had you in the wrong spot. Reiner. There's a lot left. Holy crap. Hi, hi, hi. Okay. Back to the comments. All right, let's see. All right. Kyle, how do you forget how do you forget Joy's name? I'm Says Jeremy D. You forget that every time. I'm not good with names in general. With real people even, so Okay, there we go. Ren will help me out. There were other entrances. <laughs> what? It's they me remembering the totally the entrances. Off. Yeah. Standing here isn't gonna get us anywhere. Think of some other way. I thought you weren't interested anymore. <laughs> I changed my mind. <laughs> I think it will be profitable after all. <sighs> Do as you like. Hey, let's go. Where are we going? Always check out the tea shops for information. Mm, the the cha the chow on sign. Yeah. We'll split up. I'll check around the stand quarter. You check out some other quarter. Okay. Cool. There's the Nihao Tea House. Ah? Nihao Tea House. Chowan sign. Gosh, I gotta remember the Chowan sign now. Mike Reuter says, Hey, Reiner, I remember you saying that you're a huge Stephen King fan. What do you think of the new It movie, assuming you've seen the trailer? Oh, my God. Absolutely terrifying. I don't I don't think I can do that movie. Really? <laughs> Just <laughs> Looks like I can make this sign there. <laughs> like... The TV show was okay, pretty start. traumatizing back in the day. Yeah. Like, that was scary as hell. I mean, that book gets super dumb, and the movie gets super dumb, too, or the TV show gets super dumb. Uh, I don't want to ruin it for people that haven't seen it yet, but the way it all concludes is yeah, rather I've, odd. I've never read the book or seen the show or anything, so don't spoil me. That is the Chawa sign. Chawa. But that trailer, like, it did a lot of the beats from the original where it was like... The sewer. The right spot. Mm -hmm. um, look for that shot. It was almost shot for shot from. from well, I've seen. The, uh, I've seen people lining up like the original movie and stuff. Yeah. Like, with the new trailer. But or, it was. Was it? What was it? It was a, a TV special. The original. Or yeah. It was, it was like a mini series. Okay. Or something. That's what it was. Okay. Um. But there's a shot of that clown running. The new version of the clown is horrific, and they went a little more <laughs> like horror esque like on it. It's not just straight up clown. It's got like weird veins okay, on its I'll forehead start. and all that. Uh, but um, yeah, the the cinematography on that one looks terrifying. And when it's running, I was just like, nope, I'm out. <laughs> I don't think I need to watch this. Okay. So yeah, it looks like it's going to be awesome. But I really don't know if I want those thoughts in my head. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a big horror guy either. Like I'm, you know, I don't really enjoy going to movies to be scared. I like it. I like them a lot. I like slasher flicks. This is yeah. I like thrillers. Oh, oh. oh Moonchild moon building. building. Room 503. I'll look for the Moonchild building first. Okay. I don't remember where that is. That's, uh... I'm trying to remember what happened in the Moonchild building. That was not where the daycare was, was it? Excuse me. Yeah. Me. Whoa. I want to go to the Moonchild building. The Moonchild building? Are you heading there now? It's on my way. <laughs> yes. Would you like to walk with me? Let's do it. Thank you for helping me I want to compare these faces next to uh, Mass Effect Andromeda. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there we go. I gotta find the children. Supposedly a new patch. Puts eye shaders on. Yeah. New eye shaders. The eyes uh, have been improved, apparently. I haven't played much Mass Effect. Man, Bioware is all about reaction. Making yeah. their games better after community reaction. Yeah. Maybe maybe they're just getting off on it. Like, hey, <laughs> hey, people really focused on this for those endings that we you know that, that they didn't like. Let's just do that for the whole game. <laughs> and I, see how many headlines we make and how many petitions we get. And then we'll make the game better after that. I'm I'm guessing now don't call me insane, Reiner, but I'm guessing that that's not the case. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, there's a, well, we'll never know. Uh, Duke Faison. Regular comment. Don't you want right? to do a super replay of an early Yakuza game after Shenmue 2? Uh, <sighs> uh, I haven't. Zero hasn't hooked me in yet. I haven't really had That's much of a chance to play That's the one everybody yet. says is the best and 
from all accounts, there was cool things in the other ones, but they were kind of... Those kind of... They didn't quite hit the... Put the uh, bat on the ball completely. Bat on the ball. All right, let's see. So I don't know. 503. Here we go. Thank you, lady. You're here. D yep, Thank you. I know. You're welcome. D Hat says, could you guys please save a clip of Reiner saying winky face and add it to your sound effects? What? Winky face? I don't know. You want to give us a nice clean winky face, Reiner? Winky face. There you go. So you guys can take that if you want or... All right, so, okay, 305. Take the 305 elevator. God, this makes me think of, this is like a Silent Hill building. We're going to three. God, these elevators. How do these people survive here? <laughs> By the way, if you're hearing hammering, it's probably the ambience of the game and not the construction that's going on outside of our office building. You think that's, because we have new windows being put in, too. Yeah. We, like, technically don't have windows now. It's a very strange situation going on in this office. I mean, our windows are boarded up right now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Leska has a question. Why Minnesota? What, for, for Game Informer? Yeah. No, that's a good question. You um, know, there's actually a recent pod. Maybe this is the answer you were going to give, Reiner. But there was a podcast that you and Andy McNamara did kind of around an anniversary for Game Informer. Mm -hmm. Where you guys went into it, and I would highly, re if you are interested in Game Informer at all, just to, even as a casual fan, that is a fascinating listen to hear Andy talk about the history of the magazine, and and with you, Reiner, who's also been here for a million years, as far as I know. Yeah, I'm at 24 years now. Holy cow! The um, so wait, wait, wait. yeah, it's the Game Informer podcast. It's Game Informer show, 25 oh, years. Look that up. But the thing is, is uh, Minnesota was where Funko Land was founded. We were originally owned by Funko Land and then Barnes & Noble and then GameStop. Uh, we keep bouncing around with, with different owners, which is kind of fun and terrifying. <laughs> but um, the uh, we were given the chance to you know go different places, stuff like that, San Fran, all that. But we just realized like Minnesota is such a great spot for us in being removed from most of the industry, giving us the freedom we need. Yes, that's a double-edged sword where it's like, uh, it would be nice to be close to them, to have people coming in and all for demos and all that. But at the same time, um, we don't want people banging on our door the whole time, every day. Yeah. Well, um, I, well I liked what you guys said in that podcast where you're like, yeah, no one can really sneak up on us in Minneapolis. Exactly. We'll, we'll get a phone call first, <laughs> which really cracks me up. Uh, but yeah, and cost of living here is great. So, you know, people have cars and houses and families and yeah. it's not five journalists in one apartment. Yeah, I'm I'm very grateful for that personally, as someone who has a family. What's, 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 what's going to happen? Oh my God, it opened on its own. We have to root through oh, someone man. else's garbage again. <laughs> Shows his little shoulder. All you need to see is my dark brown hair and my shoulder. I guess he was expecting me. If what? You are afraid. Now is the time to go back. Why is your apartment filled with green air? <laughs> what is with this lighting? May I ask you to spar with me <sighs> in this darkness? <laughs> How come he's the only one that's shrouded yeah, in darkness? Yeah, what is happening? The perfect environment to see your skills. Oh, he must be blind, I guess. <laughs> nice smile. <laughs> All right, let's see. It's been a while since I did some fighting. Oh man, you just have no idea. Oh, do I not? I can't like lock on. Oh, interesting. That's kind of cool. That, yeah, a little okay. frustrating, I'm sure, but conceptually, I like the idea of like you just have no idea where he is. Do I have to do a lot of dodging? Maybe. Let's see. I'd probably just curl up in a ball attack. and start crying. I can't. The thing is, it's like, it's, I, I conceptually, I like this. Yeah, I think it's up. neat. But I, like, the way the fighting works is I can't really, even though I can see him Stop in the game. The blow or a kick. Okay. 
Like I, I can clearly see him <laughs> as a player, you know? Right. Maybe there's nothing he can do. I think I can. He says stop his with a blow or a kick. I can. So there's a grab. Maybe I can try to counter it or something. Damn. Oh. Okay. Oh. Do not rely on sight. A disturbed mind can make you impatient. Hmm. Are you not aware of the voodoo? Oh, we're fully aware. <laughs> oh, we we know about the voodoo. Darn. Yes. Do not rely on your <laughs> this eyes. This guy looks like darkness. Shadow Link <laughs> from uh, from <laughs> Zelda. <Dismiss> all <laughs> other thoughts and see with your mind's eye. My mind's eye. Dude, you've heard about this like 50 times now. Oh gosh. Okay. There he is. Concentrate on your hands. <laughs> oh, that's cool looking. What is it telling you there? It's saying, it's get, it, all I can do is punch. Are you supposed to be doing what that thing's doing? The D-pad? Oh. Your moves are slow. <laughs> there we go. I guess it was a matter, so I had to do it. Let's see. Okay. Mm, you have a when it lit up. Aptitude. Sense the opponent without relying on your eyesight. This is called predictive explosion. <laughs> nice predictive explosion i love that that's name. my new band oh my god screw the rapture twins i'm going predictive explosion predictive explosion that's great yeah i'm in a new band oh, predictive explosion yeah we just yeah. this oh, the, uh, the... you can see what yeah i thought Oh, so he's not blind. Son. Oh, we have history. About 20 years ago, your father visited this place. <laughs> My father came here. Miu Ao had much interest in the Chinese martial arts. This we is almost... friends and often exchanged yeah. our knowledge on moves. I gotta remember not to talk during cutscenes. Well. Ooh. He was killed by a man named Landy of the Chio Men. Killed? By Landy. <laughs> Landy! <laughs> How terrible! Iwao was killed. This is what my room looks like. <laughs> hmm. I just had think the lights off pink. all the time. Morning echoes. This is kind of a while ago, actually. Clouds gather as you pass away, shedding tears. Poetry? What? If there is anything I can do for your father. Kill Andy. Do you know who Young Da Zhu is? Does he have anything to do with the death of your father? Yes. I heard that Zhu is being held captive at the Yellowhead building. The headquarters of the Yellowhead. Is there a way for me to get in there? Doors. <laughs> Don't tell me though. Not convenient. It's a picture of him naked. Who is this man? <laughs> He's a scout for the Yellowhead. A scout? He finds talented practitioners of martial arts to send to the Chiyo men. If he picks you, you may be able to get inside the Yellowhead. What should I do? If you can keep winning at street fights, there's a chance. Street fights. <laughs> <laughs> what a reveal! 
<laughs> uh, uh, this game's cool. Take back everything I said earlier. So I gotta go. No. I gotta go do street fighting, I guess. By the way, I I, I was holding my tongue because I'm really trying to talk during cutscenes. But that guy sounded like someone doing a much deeper version, like a deeper voice version of Jimmy Stewart. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. oh, oh, that's good. Um, yeah, so I guess I gotta do some street fights. Get in touch with a scout to get inside the yellow building. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, that guy was telling me to street fight, didn't he? That seems weird. Let me double check with him. You're going to use your new move? I guess. Predictive explosion! Oh, he's not. It's locked. He's gone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, please don't bother me anymore. It's like, I, I let you in. All right, I don't know what else you want from me. Uh... The weird thing about predictive explosion is it just, it like... It didn't seem like a combo that I had to learn or anything. Yeah, we need to find a scout near the street fights. I mean, we saw what he looked like. Mm -hmm. Was Do I need to get in street fights or I just need to go find him? Because I, I don't want to fight if I don't have to. Yeah, I think you got to get in street fights. Okay. So I'm going to be some kind of, like a, I don't know, I, this is a term just I'm pulling off the top of my head here. But like a, like I'll be like a street fighter? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. You ever see Bloodsport? No. Uh-uh. With uh, Jean-Claude J JCBD? Randy. Yeah. No, I never have. I mean, I, I watched that like five times when I was younger. It was great. Yeah. I, I bet it sucks now, but I mean, that was crazy street fighting. Illegal, like, fights. I don't know if I've ever watched a Jean-Claude Van Damme movie in full in my life. Universal Soldier? Nope. Never seen it. Uh, the Expendables? Isn't he nope. in one of those? No, Three? I always I, I I I take issue with the Expendables. Uh, Why? Because I blame the lack. I bl I blame Scott Pilgrim's sort of failure in quotes. I guess you could say it. It it was it did not you know sell a lot of tickets to that movie coming out at the same time. Oh, yeah. So you have a grudge. I have a grudge because I think Scott Pilgrim is one of like probably one of my favorite movies ever in that list of like thirty. You know. And uh, I think Expendables is just a totally forgettable cash-in with, like, familiar faces. And then, like, right next to it, there was this really creative, interesting movie that, uh, you know, is very cool and different and original. And But everyone was like, you know what? I want to go see, uh, see Jean-Claude's face instead of this uh, new movie. That's way more interesting. So I will never watch The Expendables. Well, also, I One, two, or three. I don't really have any affection for any of those like old action movies, so I think a lot of it would be lost on me. Holy cow, this game is slowing down. Uh, Aaron Bivens says, Do the two of you plan to do a Chronicles or what have you when Shenmue 3 comes out? I'd love to see you guys going in blind without being able to look up everything. I think we're going to play... I mean, there's a chance Kyle might or I might end up reviewing it. Maybe, yeah. It's certainly something that we've talked about. Like you but we want to do a full playthrough on it. Yeah, we're not. It's not. Up, it's not. It's something we've thought about. I think it would be interesting to have a, the full trill, like you and me, play through the full trilogy. Um, but yeah, it kind of depends on you know, like review schedules and all that stuff. And you know, the game has to come out first. I still don't know how confident I am in that happening, <laughs> frankly. Okay, so here's a street fight. Should I just get in on this? Excuse me. Uh, what can I do for you, kid? Wait, I don't want to gamble. I want to fight. Who Excuse am I talking me. to? Just that dude? He's a pawn shop? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> All right. I can sell you some pants. No shirt. Right, let's see. Um. Uh, okay. Oh, it's got all my combos and stuff here? Why is it showing me this? Oh, what's going on there? Oh, I can choose to fight. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Okay. So this is the right. This was the right way to go. Good. Careful, he'll throw his hat and cut your head off. Oh, that's who he reminds me of. I couldn't put my finger on it because it had been sliced now, off by a blade hat. Oh, here is one of the best masters of acrobat style martial arts. Swift that guy's good. Wearing some cool pants. Double O eight eight. Catch this man here and beat Double O eight eight says. One Sorry, don't want to talk on this. Oh, do I have ten dollars? Oh no! Anyone confident to try? Where's the challenger? Do I have ten dollars? I'd like to participate. Oh no! <laughs> Hold on. Eight dollars? Oh god! Uh, Hold on, I can go to that pawn shop yeah. part-time job guy. But double O 
oh, 88 go says, it's I've never down. seen someone be so glass. good first time at the Ghost Hall plank part that has plagued Shenmue fans for years. You didn't even load either. Props to you, Mr. Kyle Hilliard. Oh. I had no wow. idea that was like a, yeah. a trouble spot. I mean, it sucked. Interesting. Oh, well, yeah. I, I really thought we did awful on that, but I guess I did okay. And no, yeah, we didn't we didn't try to do saves or anything. Like, I guess not in retrospect, maybe that was just stupid that we didn't just do a save file, <laughs> you know, uh, just right as we got to each floor. Is that... The hot dog vendor from Shenmue 1? Oh, no, no, okay. no, it's our new friend. <laughs> you got excited there. I did. Tom. Are you my alarm clock? <laughs> I don't know why this is making me laugh so hard. <laughs> I just, the idea of, like, I wrote in a notebook, find street fighting areas. <laughs> uh, Siri, remind me to find street fighting areas. Uh, Mustafa Mustafad says... Yo, MC Kyle, what's cracking? Hey, yo. Keep the super replay snapping. The random movie trivia has been lacking. <laughs> Hit us with the action piece. <laughs> At Paul Blart is the president of the United States. Uh, yeah, he is in Pixels, actually. Um, so that's valid. So there you go. There's some movie trivia right there for you. Paul Blart is the president of the United States in the movie Pixels. But it's not Paul Blart, right? No, it's, it's okay. Kevin James. James? <laughs> oh... What is it? What's what do I pick here? What is this? Is this my shortcut? Oh, I guess I can go right to where I left off. Uh, yeah, I guess that's what I did. That's cool. That was a fun comment. I liked it. That was good. Have I do I know any good movie trivia lately? I, I obsessively read. Um, I think we've talked about this before. For every movie I watch, I have to wa read the uh, IMDb trivia page for. Um, but I haven't... There's nothing like has stood out to me lately. Mm -mm. Oh, here's some trivia for you. Don't go see Boss Baby. <laughs> you uh, did that. Yeah. Huh? That movie sucks. Excuse me. Yeah, and I'm like... I, I, I like animated children's movies. I'm tentatively to excited to see Smurfs here. tonight. Um, but you. man, Boss Why? Baby was underwhelming. There's three... There's two bad Smurfs movies. Yeah. No. You're better off like watching Alvin and the Chipmunks. No, this well, at this, home because you don't have to focus on it then. The new Smurfs is um is fully animated, so it's not like half live action or anything. So it might just be a straightforward, basically just you know, a, a cartoon for lack of better. You know what I mean? Like the 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 sort of hybrid is doesn't really work well for Smurfs. I feel like, but uh, but yeah, man, Boss Baby was not good. Like I like Trolls. Trolls is fun. I haven't seen it yet. Storks is fun. Storks is good. Um, but man. Don't go see Boss Baby. Okay, so I, I need to make $2. Is there just a good pawn shop I can go to? Um, you can play our ball drop game. I guess. Here. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do here. Because I can talk to people about money. Excuse me. Is it like I can get a part-time job? Do you know a place where I can get a job in this neighborhood? We don't have capsule toys to sell, do we? I think we do. Floor of the Thousand White Building. The Thousand White Building. I could do Thank that. Thank you very much. Um, I could, could I do this as a job or is she just selling stuff? Excuse me. Yes. Uh, part-time job. I'd better not. Oh, she seems friendly. Nice Whoa. smile. Wanna try gotcha? <laughs> Look at it. This is the thing. She wanted, I don't want to play. I want to see if maybe I could, cause all no, she's going to do really? is tell me where to go. Again. I will ask her about pawn shop though. I mean, I, I should just sell all my capsule toys, right? Like I don't. Yeah. There's no reason to have them. Uh, so. Jack Ledoux, or Ledoux says, I wonder what Fukusan has been up to this entire time. Where was the oh, that's a good again? question. He was the, the he worked at the, um, he was our problem child okay. in our house. That's Thank right, you. yeah. He's yeah, been sweeping a lot. Probably I think stuck he's... Stuck in a looping, sweeping animation. He's taken over our cocaine empire. That's right. <laughs> but I think he, he partakes too much. Yeah. Like, I, I don't think, like, we just viewed it from afar under the tree and just kind of let it be taken away and made money that way. But I think he's just down there constantly snorting all that stuff. I'm having that paranoia where I don't remember pressing record. Yeah. I just huh? I get that way sometimes where I'm like, I just, I don't have a memory of doing it. Uh, 
Yeah, so I think he's gotten all crazy and like he probably stepped on that kitten oh. in, in like a cocaine rage. Not the kitten. Yeah, the place has just fallen to hell. Oh, poor. Kid. We'll see that in Shenmue Three. You think so? You think I'll go home? Okay. I would like that. I think it'd be cool to go home to see that world like with mm -hmm. new yes. gen graphics. What I'll is give this? you this then. What? What are you giving me? Two dollars? <laughs> oh, a flyer. Okay. It's our flyer that lists our buying rates. Check it out. All right. Anyone ever say you've been animated so poorly? What do you want to sell? Oh, I got so much good stuff, lady. Uh, do I have any sets? No. I got a bunch of dolphins. Apparently. You got some space harriers. The circles mean I have them, right? No, you got those. Or maybe. Yeah. Uh, Might as well just do these two, right? Yeah. I don't need to do. Pretty common item. Well. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Yes. Please. I like your hair. Are you gonna put anything else in? What? <laughs> Are you, wait, what are you saying to us? Have you seen that video where they took the old Jeff Goldblum Mac commercials, Apple commercials, Pretty and common item. and slowed them well, down just I a little bit so he sounds much. drunk? Is that okay? <laughs> have, you, have you seen? Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, I okay. know exactly what you're talking yes, about, and please. it just reminded me also of the new drunk history so for. Or the, uh, what do they call them? The bad here? lip reading of uh, Force Awakens. Oh, I haven't watched that yet. But, oh, uh, it's the best. They got Mark Hamill to do Harrison Ford, enough. and he is <laughs> great. so good. Kind of uh, cute, but what I was going to say is this so woman sounds like that. Like where they just slowed her voice her, down hey? just a, just <laughs> enough to make her sound drunk. Which cracks me up. All right, so we got some money now. Now, this might be since, uh, I'm not, since the fighting has always been trouble a, a problem for me because i'm not good at pressing buttons what you've been fine this the yeah, super i guess i have been okay i was gonna say i'm gonna save before we go into this fight remember you beat up like 60 to 70 people in a row in shenmue one <laughs> that's right apparently Let's the totally wrong way never forget we found out in retrospect um that you know it was that was the fact that i uh I was I was supposed to I could have run around that whole area, but I just stayed in one place and just let everyone come to me. What do you think the scouts thinking? Like, okay, the guy was here. We didn't bring any money, but he had tons of action figures on him. <laughs> <laughs> Is the scout still there? Yeah, he's still there. That's him. <laughs> <laughs> I like him. I want an action figure of him on my desk. Now, All right, I can skip this. Cool. Knock his hat off. Catch I like how he's got a mover's belt on. That dude has purple hair. One match for a bet of ten dollars. Oh. Thirty seconds. God. I didn't save like I said I was going to. Do you think it's important? Do you think I should back out of this and save real quick? I'm going to. I don't no, feel super confident don't about think this. So. <laughs> The scouts gotta be like, God, this guy's annoying. <laughs> I'm just here to spectate and, you know. All right, real quick. Oh, that's good. I don't need those. All right. Stand over here. Do a quick little savey save. Yes. Okay. All right, now. Now I will fight. Let's do. Okay, I can't skip this, though, can I? I gotta look at the scout again. One match for a bet of ten dollars. Okay, cool. Let's do it. I'll do it. Get up here. Get up here. Okay, so this is the what was I already forgot it. Pr pr the explosion name. Take what was it called? Stats. I don't quite understand Ready? how it works. Go. Oh, the walkthrough says you'd never use that move. Okay, it's that's just, what I was wondering. It's just like a story thing. Because I was wondering because it's like it's in, it's set up in such a way where like I don't know how you would ever use it in a fight because it wasn't like a combo I was learning or something. Right. Oh, look at that! That guy's cool. Oh, I've only got thirty. Oh, I see why this is tricky. Okay, so I've only got thirty seconds. Come on, come on, come on. You got oh. this. Well, no, I lost. So I lost ten dollars. Ah. You gonna reload? Mm, yeah. I don't have to, but Wait, that's why you I saved. Should. Yeah. I can do this. This seems doable. I just wasn't quite sure about the the thing. All right, we'll save real quick. Oh, what does that say? Acrobat. 
Okay, Rio wins if he catches the opponent close. Close on the opponent and press B to catch. Go near the opponent and press B as well. Oh. Oh, that's okay. So I was okay. So I, I pretty much have to grab him. Okay, I can do that. Let me, but I, I'm still gonna reload. Here we go. Okay, let's do this. Let's do it. I got all my money. So I guess, like I said before, we left the loading to, to reset or whatever. I, I, uh, I just have to grab the acrobat, which I didn't realize. I thought I had to beat him up, which both seem doable, but I guess all I have to do is grab him. You can do this. Oh, you're skilled. Yeah. You know what? I've been playing Persona 5. Yeah. Is that you enjoying it? Ridiculously good. Oh, I want to play it. Is it... Is it, is it really dark and graphic or anything like that? Or is it? Uh, it it's kind of spooky, creepy. Okay. Like the monster creations and what... I'll do it. Like, one of the bad guys you run into right away is, like, this king-like character. He's kind of, like... His eyes are a little creepy, but he's he's just wearing like a cloak, like a regal cloak, and then nothing but pink underwear, and then sneakers. So he's like weird. Okay. But at the same time, it's got this kind of weird silence of the lambsy, like this guy is just insane kind yeah. of quality to it. Okay. Um, but they're swearing. Okay. I don't really care. I, you probably know what I'm asking. About. I, you're, yeah, it's about your daughter. Yeah, I, I don't swear. I think me. my wife has like a sailor's safe. mouth. Yeah, I think you'd be safe. <laughs> okay, but there's there's probably a couple scenes that I'll see coming that I probably need to be aware of. Okay, yeah. so the scout yeah. is still here, so I need to keep doing this, I guess. Well, that's one. Let's see. Let's go to a different fighting arena and see. But, but he's still here. Yeah, he's over there. See but, him? Yeah, but maybe he's just always there. Let me do. You think I should go to another one? I think you should, yeah. Okay, because I know... Let's see. I can just save over the last one. I don't need to make a million saves. Uh, there we go. Because there was one over here. That one I liked, though, because it was so easy. <laughs> I don't actually want to fight anybody. I just want to be friends. You did well. Yeah, just press B a bunch. That's actually probably a good way to make money if we ever need money again. Yeah, like it, it gets hard. There's three arenas, it looks like. Yeah, okay, I know where the other one is. Okay. Yeah, look at this arena. And, and we think that the scout is here? Well, let's see. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> look at his hat. He's got a creepy hat. All right, what is this one? He's good at his job. He is <laughs> really scouting these <laughs> He's fights. Scout. He's everywhere. Mm. That's really funny that he was there. All right, what do I need to do to you? Because clearly it's not... Ugh. Pull out on that. <laughs> hey. Cool looking guy. He has defeated many with a single blow using his head. Oh, do I have to dodge? Is there anyone strong enough to challenge this man? Oh, One no. match for a bet of ten dollars. Okay, I'm just not great at counters. Ten dollars. These guys are just getting worked. For ten dollars. Well, it was the '80s, you know, inflation and whatnot. All right. I'll do it. Put that hand up. All right. So he. Yeah. What do I do? I have to okay, take block your here. Okay. When Ryo is attacked with Iron Head, he will fall. Fight the opponent while avoiding evading attacks. Okay. So I can run around? That's... Is that the best hint, I guess? I can guard. All right. I'm guessing I just got to run. Ready, go. Yeah. Okay, get him. No, I don't want to fight him. I just got to stay alive. Are you sure? Yeah. yeah. Oof. I mean, I... Oh wait, no, well, maybe you're right. Useless. Yeah. Yeah, you got to figure out how to fight him. Okay, so. Okay, so I mean, I was doing, the dodging was working. Well, of course, you're not doing anything. Well, but that's what, like it says when Rio is attacked with Iron Head, he will fall. Fight the opponent while while evading attacks for sixty seconds. So do I have to fight him? I'm just gonna keep dodging him. Ugh. Let me look this up. Okay. I'm gonna, while you're looking it up, I'm gonna go and reload my save. All right, so apparently I can ring him out, or I can yeah. I can dodge as well. Yeah. I'll, I'll try to ring him out, but if I, if he's if he's really kicking my butt, I'm gonna I'll start dodging him again. Uh, I'm a little sore in the arm today. I got From, my physical. 
<laughs> I went to the doctor yesterday, yesterday. and uh, I uh, got two shots. I got a flu shot, which is kind of late in the season, but yeah, look, yeah, so they right. talked me into it. I just had needles all over. I was like, do it. <laughs> and then I got a tetanus shot. Tetanus. And uh, like, I don't mind the shots themselves. Like, it's just a little brick. Doesn't doesn't bother me. It's the mm -hmm. aftermath of like just your arm getting so sore. Yeah. It's annoying. And I tried to like sleep on it last night. And I was just like in pain. Well, tetanus is particularly bad, right? Like those. Oh, you don't want that. Yeah. 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 That that's like death. Isn't tetanus usually? Well, I'm saying the tetanus shot in particular. Oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah. It's not bad. Oh, it's not. Okay. It used to be. It used to be like old tetanus needles. Let me look this up. How do you spell tetanus? T e t a n u s. Let's see. Oh, he got me. Old needles. This is gonna be a weird search. I want to say it was like it was like five or oh, six wait. little needles that went into you at once. I got. I got a ring out. Oh, holy crap. That's no good. Time. I didn't know I could do I don't know how that happened. Blah, blah. Man, this, this scout is not very impressed at all. All right, I'm going to reload real quick. Man, I don't like this one. I'm just not good at dodging. I like the one where I just had to press B a bunch. That one was fun. I wonder what... The, and there's three of these? <laughs> that's a, that's a yeah, it's going to be a while. <laughs> But I, I, I was gonna say there's like a th there's these fighting arenas. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the one I had to grab the guy. This one I gotta dodge the guy. Is and then there's a third one. Yeah, it's probably just beat the crap up, out of him. Straight up fighting. I don't want to spoil. Okay. Oh, you know what it is. Um, Tell me. Funny. See how it is. I want to know from people in the comments what you're thinking of the games this year so far. Breath of the Wild, Mass Effect, Persona, Near, Res Evil. God, it's like the big releases this this year. This is going to be one of those years that I think we look back on. Like a, you know, I think what, 98 is one that people always elevate. And 2004, I think 2017 is going to be one of those years of just being like, damn, that was a good year for games, you know? Yeah, I think uh, we'll see. I mean, we got a lot of year left. We know we might be getting Red Dead. Yeah, um, I'm not if super that falls out, about that. Oh, shoot. So far, so bad. If that falls out of the year... Ah. Then maybe not. Like, what's for holiday? Xbox One. God. Crackdown, geez. Sea of Thieves. Oh, that works. Hey! I don't know how I did that, but I don't know. <laughs> it looked like you were getting... Ooh, his hair looks like you know what. Um, yeah, good. Yeah, that, go. that works. Uh, there we go. PS4 has... Horizon. I think, like, we look back on these here. Resident Evil 7, Horizon, Breath of the Wild. God of War is not this um, year. Right near, like I, I know Joe is kind of cool on near, but like overall, I think people really like it. I just mm -hmm. think it's just like, I think already it's like a crazy year for video games. Yeah, Persona, and if oh yeah, Persona Five, you know, and that's quietly a PS4 exclusive. Yeah, well yeah, PS3, PS4. Yeah, I wish I wish that game was on Vita. I really want to play that. I li I like uh, RPGs Put it on, on Switch. mobile. Yeah, I really want it on Switch. I want more stuff to play on my Switch. Switch is like a good good dad console i feel like it's like <laughs> a good you know you have a family console right, let's save real quick nice job by the way oh yeah that was uh i'm really proud of how that went and um <laughs> i just knew what i was doing i just went in there with confidence and i just knew what i wanted to happen and i made sure that that is what happened i think i know where the last fighting arena is i think it's over in this this direction but yeah if red dead makes this year That'll just run yeah, oh, man. Out. It's going to be crazy. Yeah, what else? What else is coming? Mm, yeah, God of War's next year. Red Dead maybe this year. Yeah, what's Days that? Gone is next year. We don't even know. I feel like we're going to find out a lot of stuff at E3. Spider-Man this year, right? I don't know maybe. if it's confirmed. Um, but that, yeah, I'm excited about that. Insomniac Spider-Man game. Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Hell yeah. I wonder, uh, I wonder what Sucker Punch is up to. Remember we all thought that that Spider-Man rumor was going to be a Sucker Punch game, but then it being up Insomniac. I, I love Isn't Sucker Days Gone Sucker Punch? No, no. We don't know what Sucker Punch is doing. Where's that Sony Bend? That's Sony Bend. Okay. Uh, Sucker Punch I love. Like, I really love the infamous games in Sly Cooper. I'm very curious to see what they are what they have next. Um, maybe something new. I feel like if it was another infamous, they would have already been hyping it or at least yeah. have announced it. But yeah. if it's... They've been it's, working on something for a while. Yeah, I, 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 at least... 
I think it's safe to assume that. I mean, I guess technically we don't really know. I mean, we don't have any insider information or anything. Uh, new Uncharted. We'll get that. Yeah, right? yeah, that's yeah, totally. That that counts. I think that's gonna be. I think that's gonna be good and a bigger deal than maybe even people are sort of expecting. Hellblade. I'm excited about Hellblade. Yeah, me too. I love Ninja Theory. Uh, every, everything they're saying about the game that like for that we did for our cover story and stuff sounds really fascinating and cool and different. Uh, Cars Three, I'm excited about. Yeah, Avalanche. Yeah, the guys that did Disney Infinity, but man, that, that those Cars games were underrated. The yeah, first two good racers, right? I didn't, I never really got into them, but I know that people. One of them was really good. Yeah, hold, sort of hold them in high regard is mm-hmm. like, yeah, there can be good licensed games. Yeah. based on children's properties, you know. It's a good year for gamers. Yeah, man, I don't know where the fighting arena is. Right? Is that Joy? Hey, there's Joy. What up, Joy? Joy. What? <laughs> I was just you know coming to be nice. Close by? Huh? What? You aren't going to participate in the street fights, are you? Uh, the only way to get uh no. The yellow head <laughs> is her is bikini the falling fight. apart and now it's just held together like by a rubber band? <laughs> it's getting there. You are so rash. Oh, well, there's one right past <laughs> the thousand white quarter. One right, right past the th- thousand white quarter. Okay. Another one would be at go out to the plaza and take a right. It's in the alley between the... <laughs> no, it's cool. camera work. ...and the ghost okay. hall building. Okay, the alley. All right, I remember now. Thanks, Joy. Wait, is this the right way, right? This is where she was... Oh, well, I don't know where it is. Well, there's no one at this one. Oh, there, they're facing in. Wait, no, we've already done this one. Is this... Oh, shoot. Should I ask her again? Well, you know what? Let's save the episode here. Okay. We'll continue next time with another street fight. Let's do it. And more progress, hopefully. Yeah, we'll talk to Joy again. She'll she'll give us directions again. Yeah. So thanks for watching. And we'll be back in episode 21 with more Shenmue. Let's do it. Hey, Siri, can you remind me to find street fighting areas? Okay, I'll remind you. Thanks so much.